Hello everybody, John Ktwell back here again with another video and I'm here with another Dragon Ball Z discussion. Now with the end of Resurrection F's run here in the States pretty much, uh, I already gave my personal thoughts and, and review for the movie, which of course if you've not seen, please check it out. I'll probably have some form of card or annotation in this video so you can go and check out my official review for Dragon Ball Z Resurrection F. But that being said, I'm pretty sure everybody has seen it, but if you haven't, please check it out because this video may contain spoilers to that. But that being said, uh, let's get into the topic of the day. Uh, originally, my first uh, topic discussion uh, would be a topic about Dragon Ball Z versus Marvel. But seeing as how a lot of people, I guess, are extraordinarily angry at me over my rant of Goku versus Superman, I guess it's kind of invalid or pointless to be even talking about two completely different universes and how they pair up against each other. Maybe I'll do that on the podcast, but as of right now, as a legitimate video that stands alone, yeah, I don't see myself doing that anytime soon. But that being said, there was a topic that did intrigue me after seeing Resurrection F that a lot of people were really, it, there was like an outcry, like fan, literal, there was a literal fan outcry to the betrayal of one of the best characters in the series and the franchise, the most popular character amongst fans, Son Gohan. Now, the topic, based off the title, you can pretty much guess what it is. It's essentially, does Gohan suck now? Yes, um, essentially, after the end of the Boo arc of Dragon Ball Z, and after seeing GT, and after witnessing Battle of Gods and Resurrection F, um... It's pretty much the the you know the the jury is out and Gohan pretty much is not as important as he used to be. Uh, for me personally, I never really saw it as a legitimate thing to you know really. I, it never felt prevalent to me, so I never really dis really decided to make a video on it because I never felt like Gohan was really uh, getting screwed over here. I didn't feel like Toriyama or Toy Animation or anybody who's in charge with the, the rights of Dragon Ball Z or who was creatively involved with developing any Dragon Ball Z project was specifically undermining the character Son Gohan. I just never saw that. I always thought just, okay, well, you know, he just didn't get it this time. He just didn't get to win this time. I mean, that's granted. I mean, Dragon Ball Z has a shit ton of characters. I mean, it's pretty, it's like the Marvel Universe. There's a lot of freaking characters, and it's hard to make every single one the, you know, justified, you know, main leading hero of whatever story it's a part of at the time. So, I can see why, you know, some people may be angry about it, but for me, I just never thought of it as a big deal. I mean, and plus, at the end of the day, I'm a hardcore Goku guy, so you know, it just plays into my favor as like, yeah, I get to see other characters, but at the same time, you know, Goku's the hero, you know, I'm just saying, he's just my hero. But that being said, uh, there's been a big topic of debate ever since Resurrection F has ended, and majority of people in the States have pretty much have seen the movie. Gohan sucks. A lot of people didn't like the betrayal of Gohan in the movie. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm about to spoil some things, so there may be some major spoilers as of right now, so please stop this video, go check out the movie, then come back, but, uh, here we go. First off, Gohan doesn't really achieve anything in this movie, uh, essentially he's downgraded to just a regular old Super Saiyan again, and essentially he doesn't really get to beat anybody of significance. He pretty much has, if you watch the full movie, he pretty much, he pretty much has, like, one big fight, and that's pretty much it. You don't really see him have any kind of significant, uh, battle within the movie, and that's pretty much why people are, like, fans, specifically Gohan fans, are so angry. A lot of people feel like Gohan was, you know, very mistreated throughout the course of this movie, and a lot of people didn't like his redesign from Battle of Gods into this movie, a lot of people didn't like his outfit or how he looked, and, um, you know, just, there's just a gigantic outcry from fans. For me, I never really saw it as being a big thing. I will agree that it is kind of tired some that, you know, Gohan isn't as powerful as he used to be from, like, the Majin Buu arc, because if you go back to that arc, Gohan is specifically, you know, actually stronger than Gohan, than Goku and Vegeta. Gohan is, like, the strongest character. He, once he becomes Ultimate Gohan, he's pretty much the OP character of the series. Um, obviously he gets overpowered and, you know, obviously he gets absorbed by Majin Buu once, you know, Buu becomes, go, uh, Buu tanks, and then later on becomes, 
you know, Boo Han or whatever, whatever you want to call it, Super Boo, you know, it will will suffice. But um, at the end of the day, that was pretty much the end of the reign of Gohan. And ever since then, Gohan fans, hardcore Gohan fans, I might add, have been straight up butthurt and angry over the course of why Gohan hasn't been a significant character since then. And um, it's just... It's, it's a really weird question because I never really saw it as that being a real major problem because at the end of the day, you know, when you look at it in, when you look at it in retrospect and you go back and watch the anime and you go back and read the manga, the second part of Dragon Ball, or as we in the States like to, like to call it Dragon Ball Z, it's more or less a Goku and Gohan story. Everyone else is a supporting character and they have their, you know, their 10 minutes of fame under the sun, depending on, you know, which fan base you're on, which, whether it be Piccolo, Vegeta, you know, so on and so forth, and the main bad guy of the week. But it, majority, you know, when you look at it as like a plot, it's basically a Goku, Gohan story and, and, and vice versa. They really help each other out and they grow each other as characters as time goes on. And I think the main problem with that is that... Toriyama wrote Gohan so well at part two of Dragon Ball in the manga, and once you finished up, uh, once he finished up with the with the Cell Games arc, it was pretty much a done deal. People loved Gohan up until that point. Goku was like the top most popular character of that series, but the but the second the Cell Games ended, Gohan was the number one character all fans liked, and um, uh, he if I can go back and. Uh, requote a specific uh, s statement that Toriyama stated himself about why, you know, after the the end of the Cell arc in the in the series, why wasn't Gohan, you know, take up the mantle of the leading role, uh, protagonist slash hero of the series? And Toriyama simply stated uh, this, and this is his quote: "I intended to put Gohan into the leading role." It didn't work out. I felt that compared to Goku, he was ultimately not suited for the part. And that was pretty much it. That's all Toriyama stated. And I took that as the word because regardless of what crazy stuff Toriyama can say, and he has said some crazy things in his statements, at the end of the day, he's the creator of this franchise and he can pretty much do or say whatever he wants. And whether that is his actual intention, because I know there's like, you know, fan theories out there that go deeper where it's like, oh, the reason why Gohan's not the main character after the Cell games is because, you know, editors and fan and Goku fanboys were like, oh, Toriyama, you have to let Goku be the main hero all the time. And I don't really see that as being a main factor. I mean, granted, when you go back into the 80s and the 90s, Toriyama had a lot of problems with the process of making making uh, the franchise, there was like, there's multiple debates about this, you know, like, oh, he wanted to end it, you know, after the Frieza arc, oh, he wanted to end it after the Cell games, oh, he wanted to end it, end it, end it at any point, you know, because of the many troubles of, you know, trying to be consistent with a series, and, and not to mention a very popular series at that time, so it's a huge problem, but I will admit that there may, may have been lots of outcries and editors and higher-ups over at toy animation or or whoever was helping him develop the series i'm not going to deny any of that i'm just going to say that toriyama has pretty much the power to do whatever he wants at the end of the day he's the creator if he wants to draw and illustrate and create an arc where gohan is not the hero he can do that and i feel like when you go and re-read or watch the majin buu arc he tried he literally he legitimately tried to see and test out the waters as to these newer characters becoming heroes, you know, like when you rewatch it, you know, Vegeta gets his time under the sun, and maybe he didn't feel like it worked, so he, you know, left it left the job for Go Ten and Trunks becoming Go Tanks, and maybe he felt like that still didn't do the job, and then he moved it up to Gohan, and that didn't do the job, so he just left it for Goku, and I feel like at the end of the day. It is his decision to do whatever he wants, and I think it's an okay decision. I mean, Goku is the main hero at the end of the day, and he's the guy who really can do the job at, you know, achieving the the win for the rest of the world in the universe. He was the guy to do it. He was the guy for the job. He is the definitive hero of Dragon Ball Z, kind of similar to how, you know, Batman's the hero of Gotham City, or how Spider-Man is the hero of New York, or how, you know, Superman is the hero of Metropolis. You know, these characters are the heroes of their specific franchises, and it works for them. 
There are characters in their universe that are also awesome. You know, like Batman has his Nightwing. Uh, Peter Parker has, you know, his Miles Morales. Flash has his Wally West or whatever. You know, like all these characters have their significant others and supporting cast that are also amazing, which is which what makes Dragon Ball Z awesome because it has awesome supporting characters. And Gohan is a big one of them. At the end of the day, when you go back and rewatch in retrospect, Gohan is a very slow character. Uh, not that he's slow in terms of like, oh, he's dumb. I mean, like, in terms of he has a slow build in becoming a hero. And he and it has a humongous payoff in the Cell games. But there's this really long, slow drive to that point. Go back and reread the manga from, like, the Saiyan arc all the way to Cell games. And even watch the, the, the anime if you want to. Just go back and look at it in retrospect. Gohan does a lot of saving than Goku in comparison. You know, when you go back and look at the fight, the struggle against Raditz. Without Gohan, Piccolo and Goku couldn't have beaten Raditz. Go back and look at the, the fight against Nappa and Vegeta. If it wasn't for Gohan, Nappa and Vegeta would have destroyed the Earth. And at the end of the day, Gohan technically, as the Great Ape, actually defeats Vegeta. And then, you know, Gohan was a major help and influence on planet Namek in the threat against uh, Frieza. And then, obviously, he had his big moment of, to shine throughout the Cell game arc and the Android arcs where he was the hero. You know, he was foretold to be this hero. He had this power inside him that no one truly understood, but it finally came out. You know, we got to see the future with Trunks, and we got to see the fact that, you know, Gohan was supposed to be that character, but he failed. But it was okay because, you know, we got to see that and we got to change that. We got to fix what Trunks' history was and make the main timeline the real time. Where it's, this is what the future should have been and we're going to fix it here. And Goku did that. He helped his son achieve a main goal, which is defeat Cell and, and save the Earth and, and the universe simultaneously and became the leading hero. So at the end of the day... I don't see that Gohan sucks. At the at, at the at the very end of the series, I see Gohan as a very significant character with Goku as his you know, they're just a perfect pair for each for each other. I mean, without Gohan, Goku even even in the series he admits that without him we wouldn't even be able to even survive majority of the fights we did. And I feel like without Goku's supporting cast, there wouldn't be as great of a series there is now. You know, if, if it wasn't for Vegeta, if it wasn't for Piccolo, Krillin, you know, Gohan, so on and so forth, this universe would suck. This this universe would just be a very generic, cliche, you know, paint-by-numbers kind of a series and franchise. But because of these characters, specifically Gohan, we have an awesome franchise. Dragon Ball Z is gigantic in the States. It's gigantic all around the world as a brand. Because of these characters, and Gohan has a humongous fan base, and I don't want to bash anybody because everyone has a valid opinion. But Gohan does not suck, and I feel like no matter what Toriyama or whoever in in future dates uh, depicts him in Battle of Gods or Resurrection F or even a Dragon Ball Super currently, he's still important. And he still has a significant role in this series other than just being, oh, the son of the hero. And, you know, he hasn't done anything good since, you know, Dragon, you know, the Cell arc. And he's just lame now. Go Gohan sucks. Screw Gohan. I don't believe that. I believe he still has an important significant role. Without him, a lot of shit would have been down. Uh, that would have, you know, the Earth would have been destroyed thousands of times prior. You know, everyone would have been defeated by multiple villains. You know, so on and so, on and so forth. So... Gohan, the verdict is out. You do not suck. I personally do not believe that Gohan sucks as a character. Fans of Gohan and Dragon Ball Z can comment below right now. Let me know what you personally think. That's a major question that I really want to know. Does Gohan suck? Uh, a lot of people have been questioning, you know, uh, a lot of things with the current movies. and But all I can really say is... Re rewatch the entire series in retrospect when Gohan arrives. He's a major player in this in this game, and he without him, a lot of things would not have happened. And we still don't know what Dragon Ball Super can hold. Dragon Ball Super, as we have learned over the course of the last couple of episodes, that it's definitely rewriting to a certain extent what the movies were. So maybe Gohan could have a much more major, significant role 
in the series other than the movies. But that being said, I still love the movies. I, I love Battle of Gods and I love Resurrection F and I and I appreciate what Gohan did in those movies. But uh, we're just at a different level. We have gods now that they're dealing their whole thing and, and at the end of the day, it's still awesome content. Dragon Ball Z is at its height of its you know specific popularity and career and we just have to wait and see what happens in the future but that being said comment below let me know what you personally think about this topic i just wanted to discuss it real quick because it's it's something that's been really bothering me and it's a question i really want to know from other dragon ball z fans on youtube as to you know does he suck does go on suck is he completely pointless or is he still important? I personally think so. I mean, like, if you go back and read the manga, watch the anime, and hell, even watch the movies, he's still an important character. I mean, go on, even though he gets, even though he's not the main hero of the current movie, he still has a pretty badass scene. As goofy as he may look, he's still pretty, he still kicks some ass, even as a Super Saiyan. So, uh, yeah, watch the movie, and then, you know, tell me your verdict after it's done. But that being said, comment below. Let me know which person you think. Uh, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Josh12, and of course, come back and subscribe to my channel if you've not done so already. I hope you guys enjoyed, and this has been Josh12.